Hi guys, my name is John Dougherty and this video is just a quick insight on how I do my trading or just one of the many strategies that I use or what I've learned over the years. Okay, first of all, I just want to introduce what I am and what I'm about. Again, my name is John Dougherty and this is Forex Fire. And what I'm going to show you right now is a strategy which is I would class as more or less to intermediate to advanced way of trading, okay? But I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you don't really need indicators to do any trading. Uh, you could just draw up this from a simple naked chart because the indicators are just what they are, to be fair. They're just indicators and a lag of what the candles previously have been doing. Uh, and if you can learn to trade from a naked chart, and draw your support and resistance lines up with regards to levels uh, of support and things like that, uh, you could be a more profitable trader. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is just share my screen. You just bear with me. Put this one here, and then we'll get the naked chart up. Now for this example, I'm just going to simply pick the Great British Pound Japanese Yen, and the First sort of tool you need to look for, just to help you along the way of what I'm going to draw up, is called Monday's Highs and Lows. Steve V B at the Wick Club. Get that, put it into your your favourites. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Favourites. So again, Monday's. Helps why I spell this way. One year, Steve V. Fill it in. I'm sorry about this, guys. Just need to find that again. One year. One year, candle, Steve V. Right, there we are. We'll put that back in the favorites. And what will happen is when you put this on your chart, you might not have seen any difference there, but again, there has been a difference. What it is, you've got these white areas, okay? So I've put in the session breaks. I'm just going to put that in the session breaks for those that are new. What, what that is, it's uh, period separators uh, from day to day. So this would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the market closed on Friday, okay? So again, if we look from last week, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, markets closed Saturday, Sunday, and then we go back to Monday, okay? So that's a quick uh, explanation of the session break. But what I want to do is get rid of the session break just to eliminate the noise. So the first thing you're going to do, and the reason why we pick Monday's candles uh, is we want to do some colors, okay? So we are going to pick on here as the instrumental tool, and you want to pick horizontal rear. So you go at the high of Monday, okay? And then do the low of Monday. So again, from here, the wick. Wick's always matter in Forex. And what we want to do is we'll make the border red, or the horizontal rear red. And what we'll do is we will go on this drawing tool, do a rectangle, and do from the Monday high to the Monday low, all the way along, and click there, and we'll also make that red, okay, and the paint can. Uh, and if you want to know how to get this, the opacity, that's just on the bottom. You can make it as thick or as clear as you want. We'll make it a little bit thicker, okay? So that's, the, that's you can put Monday with the date on here, but for this preference, we're not going to. All you need to do to do that, you could click on there and type, as an example, Monday. And then, but you, you can do the date, so if you wanted to do the date, you could say, right, that was the, the 12th, you can put the 12th of January, but for this example, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to quickly get rid of this because we're just showing you a quick brief description then how to actually trade these Monday's candles. So again, guys, same as last time, I'm going to do the high, the low, 
we'll make these ones orange. So we're gonna, it gives us the chance to differentiate what the market is. Again, we're gonna do the, the box. And again, just to keep everything simple, we're gonna mark this box in orange. And then we we only ever go back around about four weeks, four weeks worth. Okay, so that's one, two. Again, we'll do the high. We do the low, we'll go back to this candle here. And we'll make these ones green. Okay, and you guessed it. We do the box, just a session break that off, and I'll show you the session breaks again in a second. And again, we make this all uniformed. This is going to be green. And one last one, we do the eye lowest of the wick, move along with that candle, low. Let's make this one uh, black, we'll do it black, okay. The candles are blue and so we don't get want to get those mixed up. Black and for the last bit, do the rectangle and you'll see the power of this in a minute guys. Let's do black and the pink can black. Right, so there we have it, guys. So you'll see, first of all, Forex and price and the markets will always move in bands. Those always okay. As you can see, we're going to go up on this Monday. It respects this, it's come down, it's respected it again, it's gone up into a new zone for that Monday. It's come down, it's respected that. To come up, it's come down. You'll always see the candles close just on them zone levels. See how powerful this is? And again, I'll explain how you can trade from this. Again, we've respected this level. We've respected this level. We've respected this level. And again, look at this right on the money, right on the money, right on the money. That's come down. And look at that. Just to show you, as I say, that's going back. And that's respected that level there. And so on, so on, so on. So you get the gist of why prices move in bands and in zones. Okay. Now, this is where you're trading uh, what we call a head and shoulder pattern. Now, these, these color boxes, these will be known as not just Mondays on a session break. If I go back on there, go to ses session breaks, you'll see that period separators is showing you each one on a session break, okay. From there, I'm just getting rid of the session breaks again. So I'm gonna show you how you can trade these and catch a lot of pips, okay. So that's from there, that's, we'll not class it from this one. We'll do it from a, a Monday back. We'll do it from the green one, okay. So what we're gonna do is, uh, if, if we have it, the first rule of this is, where did the market break out of, okay. So we look, didn't quite break out of here because it's got to be a closer candle, even though there was a wick. There's got to be a closer candle. So on this instance, there is created a new high above. Okay, so it's broke out above. So from there, we then get this text. So we're going to click this on here. This will be known as your head. Okay. Now that means this is going to be known as the left shoulder. Now, if this continued continued on the upward movement, so if we got a newer higher high, the the left shoulder would then move to this part, and then the head would move up to the next bit, and so on until you eventually got the trend reversal. Okay, so that's the left shoulder, that's the head. Now, to trade this, what you need to do is you're waiting for the left shoulder, the head to form. Okay. You are then waiting for this to come all the way back. And it's got to give 
retrace back to the bottom of the left shoulder. That will be known as, because it's the head and shoulder, that will be known as the neckline, okay? So you've got your left shoulder, you've got your head formed, and then you get the 100% retrace, again, put this on here, 100% 100% retrace all the way back down to this neckline okay and then from there what we are waiting and even though that this is taking some time to get in on on the trade you would need this 100% retrace to the neckline to retrace back up to this area here this left shoulder so as you can see, it hasn't done this for a while. We went into the new week. But again, if we waited for this to come back to the left shoulder area, you would immediately get into the cell. So anything on a head which is above your cell below. If the head was on the downside, you would go for the buy. Below for the buy, above for the cell. Okay, so if we go a little bit further along here and see when this touched, as you can see. I can see it instantly. If we just put the clips, this here is where it officially, okay, this officially touched, and then you will get in for the cell. Generally, you would only need to go for around about a 30 pip move, okay. Uh, stop loss wise, again, you, you only need to play around with your stop loss, to be fair. I generally be a little bit generous, go for a 30 or 40 pip move uh stop loss sorry uh but on this occasion there was little to no drawdown and on that movement there guys once that hit that from the 100 retrace from the neckline that went down all the way for 80 odd pips 80 odd pips simple strategy very effective again this is for long-term trade uh things like that but you can set alerts on here so what you could do to help you with this is obviously if you've had your left shoulder appear okay and then you've had your head so you've had your high point let's come back down to, to retrace to that neckline okay what you could do you could set your horizontal line you could say right that is now my left shoulder it's also now going to be my right shoulder okay but from there you can see right where i want i want an alert you can put uh, from there that as soon as it, it touches, it touches that area, you can get an alert to tell you when it's come back to, to that area. When it does that, you can then get straight in on the market execution, okay? Or what you could do, the other thing you could do is when it comes down to this neckline and it's give you this 100% retrace, okay, you could then possibly set uh, on this occasion a sell limit okay guys so again let's let's take another look see if we can find another one uh let's have a look just to show you that this does actually work so again we go on to the horizontal rear and for this one i'm just going to draw up all the lines just for quickness there's the low the high uh, again The high, I think we should give these different colors to be fair on these ones. Low. Right, so we've had just on the two lots of Monday as candles. There we are, guys. So again, just to keep it simple, we've got left shoulder as we spoke, okay, got the left shoulder, we've had the next higher high, which is here. This is now officially the head. Did we get a higher point than that? No, we didn't. So then the next step from there, we are waiting for the 100% retracement. Okay, you're then waiting for the 100% the retracement down to the left shoulders neckline okay 
and then from there you are waiting for the move back up to form the right shoulder in essence where it mirrors it has to mirror this area okay from there you would have had a little bit of drawdown on this you would have had 23 pip drawdown okay but bang you've gone for the sell you would have had on there 95 pips uh, or if you went to the neckline you would have had 74 pips but again never be greedy all you need from the, these sort of trades is around about 30 pip move there's your 30 pips there horizontal over here that would have been your 30 pip move to there guys so i hope this has made sense with you if you need to watch this back numerous times if you want to reach out to me i can get you inside of a seven day trial group where you can watch us trade live as a team where we use an even simpler strategy to show you how to catch pips and compound profit i'm classed as a more intermediate to an advanced sort of trader um for my aspect what i do i'm just a little jigsaw and a bigger a jigsaw piece in a bigger picture i provide long tri long term trades like these where my team members uh, or our team members within the group sort of benefit from what i do and just to show you on a sort of pip level what i'm sort of providing to that team at the moment let's just take a look wait for this to load up i'm known as again forex fire okay guys uh, my pip count so far just for this month that i only ever trade tuesday wednesday thursday okay tuesday wednesdays and thursdays i trade from and so far for the month of January, I've caught 635 pips with a win rate of 82.35, guys. So again, if you want to watch this video back, this is a very powerful strategy. Again, it is for intermediate and advanced. If you want to know more about what I do, simply go to www.forexfiremembers.com. You can hit the contact form on there and reach out to me. If you're enjoying anything that I do, always put the hashtag forexfire. This will be going out onto YouTube, possibly my Facebook wall and a few other social media guys. So again, uh, if you're interested in learning this type of stuff, just drop a comment below. I'll get you inside of the free group where you'll, uh, on what you get as part of that, I'll just read it out to you because I've got it on my wall. So I've got seven slots left this week. And what you get access to is access to over 30 hours a week in live trading sessions to watch and what we do as live as a team. Access to a private Forex chat for that week with myself and the rest of the 10 people within the group that's wanting to learn or progress their trading a bit more. I'll even put you into a personal private chat with myself if this is a more personal level that you want. I can do that if required. Bonus, this is an exclusive to you guys that want to do this. You can get my trade ideas for that Forex market week, okay? I don't just give these out to anybody. You've got to be within the team aspect, but if you want to try this out to see it, I'll give you those trade ideas for that week. And again, if needs be, we can get on a one-on-one -on -one phone call at any time you feel the need to know more, okay? Because at the end of the day, I can't be any more transparent, honest, and open as that, okay? So if you want to be part of that, or be part of the exclusive group, which I run from a Monday to a Friday, just drop your comments below, guys. I've been John Dougherty, Forex Fire. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. See you later.